In other Dakota Access Pipeline news, last Thursday, Morton County, North Dakota, issued an arrest warrant for me. The charge, criminal trespass, a misdemeanor offense. The case, State of North Dakota versus Amy Goodman, stems from Democracy Now!'s coverage in North Dakota over Labor Day weekend of the Native American-led protests against the Dakota Access Pipeline. On Saturday, September 3rd, Democracy Now! filmed security guards working for the Dakota Access Pipeline Company using dogs and pepper spray to attack protesters. These people are just were threatening all of us with them, these dogs. And she, that woman over there, she was charging them and it bit somebody right in the face. The dog has blood in its nose and its mouth. And she's still standing here threatening. You can't get out! Why are you letting their her dog go out to the protest? Because it's covered in blood. Democracy Now!'s video report went viral online. Our footage was rebroadcast on many outlets, including CBS, NBC, NPR.org, CNN, MSNBC, and Huffington Post. Also charged was Cody Hall for his alleged presence at the September 3rd land defense action and for a subsequent protest on September 6th. Hall is considered a lead organizer in the movement against the Dakota Access Pipeline and was arrested at one of the checkpoints that have been erected by North Dakota authorities to restrict access to the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation and the growing pipeline opposition camps. Hall was denied bail and remained in jail throughout the weekend. Hall's attorneys and several others we spoke to confirmed it's highly unusual for a defendant charged with misdemeanor trespass to be jailed and denied bail. According to the complaint, the charges are based on a viewing of Democracy Now!'s video report of the incident conducted by the North Dakota Dakota Bureau of Criminal Investigation. Special Agent Lindsay Wohl's sworn affidavit states that I was there as a journalist. Wohl wrote, quote, Amy Goodman can be seen on the video identifying herself and interviewing protesters about their involvement in the protest, unquote. The criminal complaint was approved by Assistant State's Attorney for Morton County, Gabrielle J. Goder. To date, none of the private security personnel shown in the video, both assaulting protesters and commanding their dogs to attack them, have been charged or arrested. Democracy Now! is consulting with attorneys in North Dakota, as well as at the Center for Constitutional Rights. CCR legal director Bahar Azmi said, quote, this is clearly a violation of the First Amendment, an attempt to repress this important political movement by silencing media coverage, unquote.